My name is Paul Nurse and I'm a biological researcher. I first got interested, I think, in life when I was a teenager, I suppose, 12 or 13. And I was sitting in my garden in London and I saw this yellow butterfly fly over the fence with a brimstone yellow, which is a, um, a harbinger of um, spring. And it hovered around looking for something, settled briefly, took off again, and then flew over the opposite fence. Not very exciting, you might think, but I looked at that butterfly then and thought, um, it's actually obviously very different to me, but quite similar in some respects. And that made me think, what was the same about that yellow butterfly and me? And then that led to the question about what is life, which is why I wrote this book. And then a little later in my school, my um, teacher, Keith Neal, very good teacher, showed me cells under the microscope of um, a squash of an onion root tip. And I saw all these boxes, which were actually cells. And uh, he told me this is the basic unit of life. So what I was looking at there was um, the simplest entity that could be considered to be alive, really. And um, I, I just got fascinated. What is it about that cell that makes it alive? And in one sense, that's probably what I've pursued most of my life. So what am I now after seeing the yellow butterfly looking at cells from an onion root under the microscope? Well, I'm still a biologist. I'm still a research scientist. I'm interested in the process by which the cells control their reproduction from one to two, which first occurred to me looking at that onion tip. I won a Nobel Prize nearly 20 years ago because my colleagues and myself discovered um, how that worked. Um, I was president of the Royal Society, which is the oldest scientific academy in the world, based in London for some years. I ran a research university in, um, in New York called Rockefeller University. Um, I set up Cancer Research UK uh, as a cancer research institute. And now I run an institute, the Francis Crick Institute, looking at biomedical problems in central London. So I combine both sort of running research and also continuing to do research. So I wanted to write a book about an important problem in biology, what is life, but I wanted to write a book that could be read by more or less anyone who was just interested in the world around them. It's called What is Life? It's one of the fundamental questions in science and the most important one in my view in all of biology. And it really explores what is it that um, defines something that's living from something that isn't alive. And that gets you into all sorts of interesting issues about how living things work and what distinguishes a living thing like you or me or a butterfly or a yeast cell from a rock or a, a river um, which isn't alive. And so not only do I explain the concepts there, but I do try and entertain a bit in between so that people get a bit of light relaxation as well. And it's not a very long book. It's actually quite a small book. Uh, it, it can be read in a couple of hours, but I hope by the end of the book, you'll have a better idea of what is alive and what is a living thing. And I hope also you enjoy getting to that conclusion as well by reading the book.